Hi, Bob Allison, WB1GCM, ARRL test engineer outside the ARRL headquarters. I'm going to be a walking and a talking. Well, here it is, the DZ Kit HT7 40 meter AM walkie talkie. I call it a walkie talkie because that's a nice retro name for it. It's big and it's bulky. It's not very comfortable to hang on to, but it's just fun. Here's the speaker. It's good size. It's a square shape inside. Plenty of audio comes out of it. The electric microphone is right about here. As I have it adjusted, I speak about three inches away from the microphone and a normal level of voice provides clear modulation. And it can fully modulate up to 100%. The underside has the battery compartment. It usually has this little rubber thing you pull on, but I lost mine. It went under my workbench, so I had to replace it with this sheet metal screw. And the left side has the push to talk button, and the top has the antenna connection, the volume on off control, the DC input jack, which also charges the battery. You don't have to take the battery out to charge it. And that battery capacity is 4,000 milliamp hours. So you can run this HT for a long time. Microphone and phone uh, jacks here. When you plug a microphone in here, any kind of impedance microphone, uh, it'll disconnect the power supply to the electric microphone here, and you could use an external microphone. <laughs> Let's take a look at the back for one last little detail. Here's the uh, nameplate and serial number. Does that style look familiar? Now the battery pack is an option, and here are two other options. It's the Miracle Ducker IL. It's like a little antenna tuner. Turn this knob for best performance or strongest received signal. And this 57 inch uh, telescoping whip goes right on top of here. Now this worked okay for local contacts, but I didn't make any contacts via the ionosphere with it. So I decided to build an antenna. And here it is, introducing the hula loop. It's a, it's a hula loop <laughs> with wire inside. It's a magnetic loop. You've probably seen these in past articles of QST. This is a simplified design. It only consists of three parts. The induction loop, which is two feet in circumference here, and the tuned loop, which is 10 feet in circumference, and the fixed capacitor at the top, which is, for this loop, about 152 picofarads, allows the resonance at 7.290 megahertz. You can walk and talk with it, and I hear shortwave, amateur signals, AM and sideband, and um, it all costs for under $10. And the best part is the HT7 is a kit. You put it together and gain the experience of soldering, using hand tools, and following instructions, just like the old days of that other kit building company. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, ARRL test engineer.